this movie is going to be on specifically using Opus to, or Opus RS, to give us a result from a file that we stored, or a logged static session that we stored in ServeCE 3.0. To start, I'm going to plug in my USB cable to my data collector. This brings up Windows Mobile, connect without setting up the device, so select this. And I'm going to go to File Management and do Browse the Contents of this device. And in the data directory, there is the file that I want to grab. So I'm just going to do Copy. And we'll just minimize this and minimize that. And I'll just paste it onto my desktop. And there it is. Now, <clears throat> this is a file that I don't know if I can actually read it. We'll find out. Well, <laughs> it does come up, but uh, it's pretty much unintelligible. Okay, I have to convert this to a file that Opus can accept. To do this, I'm going to go to the internet here and go to carlsonsw.com. And we're going to go to support and do knowledge base. And I want to convert Carlson GPS log file. Let's see what comes up. And here it is using Opus with raw static files. Okay, the first thing I have to do is click the link below to download and install the Novatel utilities. You can uncheck everything except the convert option during the install. It's a close to 30 megabyte file, so we're going to pause this and wait while it downloads. Okay, it's downloaded. We're going to do open. Select run. English. Next. I agree. And if I read that correctly, it said you can uncheck everything, but convert. Show the readme file, start CDU. Okay, there's the readme file. I'll minimize that. I'm going to go to program, pick convert four, open, go to desktop. Okay, I'm going to type in asterisk dot log, and hey, there we have it. We have the log file, pick open, and it's going to, and we want to select Rhinex here. So that it creates the Rhinex file that we're looking for, and at this point, we're just going to pick Convert File. And we're done. And we'll exit out. And that's how that works to convert. Let's go look at this file. And this is the actual file that we want right there. The uh, navigation file isn't used by Opus or the G file. Okay, let's go back here and uh, we're going to just do google.com and do NGS Opus on my positioning. Do upload. Choose file and this is on my desktop. And we'll again just come down here and do asterisk.13. Oh, 
there is the file that we need to send to Opus and the antenna is and just to show you what the antenna is let's actually load up go to serve CE continue last job new job connect will continue without connecting we're going to go to equipment do GPS rover okay and there is the antenna type NOV or for Novatel, no, 702 GG for GPS GLONASS. Okay, let's minimize this and we're going to look for that antenna. So I just come over here and if I type N and we're going to just grab it and it is two meters. So we type in two. Email address will be jcarlson at carlsonsw.com. And we're, we're going to upload to a rapid static because it's less than two hours. And you can see it's uploading 45, 50%. And that's just confirmation that the upload was successful. And we have the Opus result. And it uh, apparently it was successful and here are the state plane coordinates in metric and the combined scale factor for state plane is this right here and if I grab this guy do copy let's go to calculator bring this up here paste that in there and reverse it there's the scale factor and it's close to um, one point and that is the combined scale factor um, and we're gonna put in is the ortho height which is 43.40 I'm sorry 43.335 hit enter and We'll grab that and do Control C and I'll exit out file points and we'll do edit and Control V pick OK overwrite you bet and now if we just go to Kogo here and do uh, inverse and we type in Opus and go to point number one we can see that uh, the uh, ground is 0.074 grid and if I exit out of here go to the map screen and now this is these two were I sur surveyed this point two afterwards I'm going to just go to Kogo inverse and I just want to go from two to one and you can see that we actually had a three hundredths of a difference um, there. And if I go to the Opus result, you can see that uh, it's about there's the horizontal distance zero point seven four, and uh, elevation wise, um, that's one forty two point seven nine. If I go back. And let's go to file and just do points. You can see that uh, um, it's actually in between. The Opus result is in between point one and point two, which is about three hundred. So uh, pretty accurate on the elevation between uh, the comparative results. And we were within an inch between point one and our Opus result. So that was more a demonstration on how to check the scale factor results and the opus results to the RTK using an RTN network in this case coming from Keystone in Pennsylvania.